today I'm working on a 2009 Audi A4 with the 3.2 liter V6. Just wanted to show you something on this real quick. Um, pretty common leak on these is these back timing covers. As you can see, I have a rag here. Um, pretty, not that bad to get to on the engine with the 3.2 liter. If it's a S4 or something with a three liter supercharged engine, it's much, even though it looks like the, pretty much the same kind of thing, um, it has a secondary air injection um, gate valves back there that block the covers. And to get those off, you have to pull the heat shield that goes around them and then get the catalytic converter out of the way. And it ends up being a much, much larger job. But to do it on a 3.2, you can get in there and do the whole job from the top. I already did this side over here. You can just pull this uh, air boot off here and get right in there. Just a bunch of little eight millimeter screws that hold this whole thing on. They're actually six millimeter. And uh, yeah, so even with the AC lines on, obviously if you discharge the system and pull these out of the way, undo it here, you get a little bit more, a little bit more uh, wiggle room. But what I've been doing on these is just pull the, air fil the oil filter out of the way. You can see the housing right there. Put a rag over it so you don't drop anything in there pull this breather hose off and then you can just get in here and release all these little screws with a 10 millimeter um, socket and a quarter inch drive ratchet and kind of just work it like this down here pull it off the uh, most time consuming part of the whole job will be just be cleaning the old silicone off the ceiling surface here i'm still not 100 percent done but you have to get that all off and nice and dry before you uh, silicone the cover back on um they're not very expensive. Sometimes I recommend just replacing the cover, just you know, being that it, it might be distorted a little bit or even warped slightly from removing it. But usually you can get away with just uh, cleaning the old silicone off and scuffing up the surface and cleaning this up real good and just siliconing it back on. So, um, also what I would say, if you have a large oil leak in the back of one of these motors and it looks like it's dripping from, from the bottom side, you can see the lower edge of the timing cover looks like it's wet. Also look real good while you're in here at the uh, oil filter housing gasket. Down here, follow this down, look down there at that edge with a mirror. With this cover out of the way, you get a little bit better access and you can check to see if that's leaking because it is an easier job with this out of the way. So if you end up having to replace the oil filter housing, you can replace oil filter housing, do both these covers, and then the leaks off the rear of the 3.2 should be pretty well resolved. Those are the usually the most common of the, um, of the leaks. So that's it. Thanks for watching.